this this it is what you back. guys do though, right? I mean, you guys created it's this, right? It's among the things we yeah, do. Yeah. I want to make sure I give proper credit to what's important to them. But it's a bloody scabby mannequin. Some people will look at that and they'll say it's trash. Yeah. Every item that you bring in this house should fit equal in, equal out. So if you bring a new mannequin in, mm -hmm. guess what? The old mannequin has gotta, go out. gotta right, go out. Right, right. What's up everybody? Matt Paxton here from Hoarders. Hopefully one of your favorite extreme cleaning specialists. We are doing memory lane with Fred and Fuzzy, two of my favorite hoarders to this day. The challenges we have with Fred and Fuzzy is that all of their stuff is actually fascinating. Their ambition is pretty good, but their follow through absolutely sucks. Uh, I still talk to them almost every week. They became legit true friends, even though uh, I got into a yelling argument at one point. This is gonna come across rude, but I need you to look at me. You're 43 years old, man. Like, how many hobbies can you have? Like, you gotta get it as many as I can. Get. No, it's not funny, man. You gotta get a damn job. I like, do pay for the for everything. Yeah. Then why is your dad working? I'm still? gonna pay him back. What are you talking when, about? When are you gonna pay him back? Uh, I'm gonna sell my motorcycles. I mean, that, like you want? No, I want you to take responsibility I am and stop take having take all these damn hobbies, man. Well, the hobbies aren't my problem. What is your problem then? Uh, Probably getting rid of stuff. I mean, this is just life, man. How to yeah. pay bills. Throwing out the that I can sell to make money is not gonna help me pay the bills. Uh, this is a memory lane on cool collections. And let me tell you something. They had one of the coolest collections I've ever seen. We have a lot of comics, DVDs, VHS, beta tapes, even laser discs, LPs, you know, vinyl anybody knows what that is anymore. Um, musical instruments. Toys, toys, toys. And here's the thing about a collection. If you're saving it for money to sell, you've got to have a buyer. Just because you have the most of them doesn't mean somebody else wants to buy them. Uh, Fred and Fuzzy had really unique takes. I mean, they collected just things that they liked no one else did. Their other collection, I'll just go ahead and say it, they had uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dildos. Bucket full of uh, broken vibrators. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, I mean people, you don't, it's not every put, day that you see a bucket full of vibrators. People put silver plastic apples in a bowl on their yeah, table yeah. all the time. In your mind, there's yeah. so much potential in this stuff, but you know you're never gonna get to it. Probably not. They just don't know if this is gonna be something they're gonna keep as a centerpiece on their table or are they gonna throw it all away? They had just, I mean, I think it was thousands of broken dildos. And I had never seen that before. What is this? <laughs> um, never found that many broken dildos in a house before. And we just kept finding basket after basket after basket. There's a <laughs> couple hundred here. Yeah. And they thought it was really cool. They thought it was really cool. And you know, that was one of the challenges that Fred and Fuzzy are really good artists, actually. They're amazing artists and incredibly talented people. And most of your hoarders are. They're ex they're so talented that they can't exist in the world that you and I live in. And Fred and Fuzzy just didn't. They didn't care what other people thought. They were fine with the mess. I mean, were they hoarders? Yeah. But they didn't care. It didn't bother them one bit. And I don't think it bothered their parents either. So, I mean, I left Fred and Fuzzy was kind of like... Whatever, like they didn't care. They didn't need their house to be clean. Rules, who likes rules? <laughs> uh, and they've, they've done well. They continue to collect dildos and Bart Simpson stuff and they've cleaned up the rest of their house and they've gotten pretty good jobs. But at the end of the day, they enjoy their lives very, very much and they don't really care what the rest of the world thinks. And on one side of that, you, you feel bad for them and the other, you kind of respect it. Uh, they're awesome people. Fred, if you're watching, I love you, baby. All right, talk to you soon. I want to stress, we don't want you to change who you are. We just want you to be a little more buttoned down so we can enjoy who you are. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.